At the point when a normal day on the metro is intruded on by a pernicious demonstration of weakness, it doesn't appear to be that it could deteriorate yet a solitary misstep by the train administrator will cost the existences of 140 additional individuals. In only nine minutes this is. The lethal breakdown of the Do Tram fire it was. Simply one more day on the tram for some school children and retail chain laborers going out for their late morning start. Everybody was engaged with their own exercises, perusing really looking at their telephones, or sleeping so, when the vehicle pulled up to the primary. Station the gathering was befuddled at the man remaining before the entryway. He had a holder of gas and a lighter and was being faced by a few travellers. It was currently 9.53 toward the beginning of the day a fight resulted and the gas spilled on the floor of the vehicle pushing. Everybody back. In view of the caustic smell, then there was an unexpected whoosh. He had some way or another touched off his lighter and the blazes were moment the man was ablaze and he fiercely ran off of the tram vehicle, the fire was quickly shocking the seat slashes, and even. Walls were burning the train engineer administrator, one left the train and snatched a fire dowser from the station. He attempted to extinguish the fire before it gained out of influence. However, the quencher was no counterpart for the substance fiery blaze that was seething before him, the thick. Smoke was overpowering, and he deserted this firefighting plan, with the other scrambling travellers, he ran up the steps to get away from this level of the station. The majority of the travellers in this vehicle had the option to get away from the train, however this was only the start of an unfortunate series of occasions. In no less than two minutes of the main fire, every one of the six tram vehicles of train 1079 were ablaze the speed with which the fire moved was stunning the inside of the vehicles, was made of exceptionally combustible, and harmful material, which was currently a vaporous toxin consuming the space. Administrator Juan got away with the travellers. However, he didn't settle on the fundamental decision to the control community to report precisely exact thing occurred during this time. The control place could see on the security screen some smoke coming from the vehicles, yet didn't know that a fire had been deliberately begun. They attempted to contact the administrator to figure out what was happening yet couldn't contact him. They chose to send a worker down the three stories to see what was the deal with train 1079. They reached the following train maneuvering into the station to tell the administrator of train 1080 to tread carefully. He progressed forward to the station as coordinated and halted as he ordinarily would at 95 6 a.m. When he halted the entryways, naturally opened and dark smoke began to fill the vehicles. He immediately shut them again to shield the travellers from the thick smoke. Nobody knew it at the time, except for this was a grave mix-up tragically. The errors would just deteriorate. Administrator Yol called the control community to sort out what to do. He made a declaration to the travellers to remain situated and quiet. While he got data about what is happening the travellers, could see the smoke and some fire flares in the vehicle close to theirs they positively needed to get out. Of the underground metro and up into the outside air above, however, they likely felt some proportion of security by being fixed inside an aluminum vehicle. What they didn't know was that the fire shades had been actuated by the fire reaction. Framework fire screens are a robotized fire reaction. Procedure to separate fire and smoke to the areas of beginning and forestall their spread in this metro framework they would have been detached entryways that appeared to go no place except for were really the main way through the fire screens whenever they had shut the wall would descend between the entryways and close every region this would make a few layers of walls to confine the tracks from the steps going up to different levels once the fire screens were enacted that would have closed down the ability to forestall electrical flames the issue. With this plan was that there was no crisis lighting in the station. Once the power went out, the whole track level of the station was totally dim, with the exception of mobile phone lights. The dark smoke was presently caught in by the fire shades, so perceivability was under a 
Foot for those aimlessly attempting to look about for an exit on train, 1080 Administrator Yol was conversing with the war room. It was currently 958, and his train had no power correspondences were being worked on crisis battery power. He kept on advising the travellers to hold on while the war room attempted to sort out some way to get them out of there. The smoke was crawling into the inside of the train vehicles, and the travellers were beginning to get fretful for some arrangement where were the fight. Reef fighters, or even some fire quenchers administrator Yol returned on the speaker and advised them to remain inside in light of the fact that the power would be re-established soon and they would pass on this station to get away from the smoke and flares. This seemed like a decent answer for simply move away from this hellfire, bursting close to them only a couple of feet outside the well-being of this. Train individuals were kicking the bucket they couldn't track down an exit and had surrendered to the caught poisonous smoke. The horrendous the truth is that the smoke produced by even a moderate fire will deliver individuals oblivious in only a couple of moments once. You have passed out. There is no security from the smoke intensity and fire. A fire consumes oxygen so quickly while creating various harmful gases because of burning this leaves you panting in more poisonous smoke second by second, while looking for oxygen to inhale carbon monoxide replaces oxygen in the air and in the circulation system notwithstanding. Suffocation, the unadulterated intensity of the air, singes the aviation route and lungs, causing expanding liquid development and debilitation of oxygen trade for the travelers inside train 1080, a large number of minutes. Passed with no power, then unexpectedly, there was an amazing acknowledgement. Their own train was currently ablaze the chute deceptively spread through the protection between the aluminum external shell and the plastic inside walls. This acknowledgement made a critical energy to get out no matter what could lie on the opposite side of the entryways. The travellers began attempting to pry the entryways open in obscurity in the event that they gained a little headway thick. Smoke surged in and gagged the would-be heroes. It was currently 10, zero only seven minutes after the first. Fire on train 1079. Each of the six of its vehicles were totally burning, and the people who had at first ran off the trains when the fire began made it out, before the fire screens shut off the passage, and power was lost. Every individual who got away a while later was caught in. Obscurity smoky. Passage with no evident leave, it just requires a moment to totally black out in the wake of breathing in such thick and poisonous smoke. Following a few wild minutes of exertion, the control place neglected to re-establish the capacity to the train the intensity and it blazes had harmed the electrical framework and there would be no enhancer for the train or the lights they taught the administrator of train. 1080 to advise the travellers to run and that they ought to all leave promptly. When he heard this he was dazed. They would require to leave the train and go through blazes and smoke to get away from. He made a declaration to the travellers to run and afterward he removed the main opportunity they had for endurance he eliminated the critical set it in his pocket and afterward ran towards one of the fire shade entryways. At the point when he switched off the expert key, the crisis battery was stopped and the train was totally secured with 140 travellers inside. There was at that point frenzy working in the vehicles due to the infringing smoke and fire, yet presently the train engineer had told them to run the entryways, were locked closed, and they had no clue about how to get them open. It was dull and smoky, and the youthful travellers were wild. 50% of them had previously dropped because of smoke inward breath, the rest were frantically attempting to cover their noses with their shirts and moving endlessly. From regions with burning intensity, every breath was an errand. To endeavour to catch some oxygen from the waning stockpile fire was presently inside the train vehicles, and there was no place to go once the inside burst into flames. It spread from one finish of the vehicle to the next in not more than seconds they. Materials were incredibly combustible and made a toxic gas when the polyvinyl chlorine plastic walls 
and the polyurethane frost seats started consuming strongly a portion of the travellers, had proactively passed out with the smoky air so they got no opportunity at. Get away from the others, were overwhelmed with the fire, in not more than minutes, regardless of the firemen showing up on scene, inside a couple of moments of the call, they couldn't extinguish the fire, until practically 1.30 in the early evening, the poisonous smoke was still too perilous for responders to enter. They at last got to the train level at 5.0 this chute consumed so quick thus hot, that there was just a metal shell and bars remaining. Once they had the option to arrive at the metro vehicles, the 140 travellers adhered inside, were diminished to debris, and another. 52 were dead on the stage. Presently let the concealment start administrator Yol was absent for the following 10 hours. However, some way or another, the expert key to prepare 1080 was found in the workplace at the train station. Later it was found that he had been in touch with. The organisation had been trained on what to say and records of the recorded correspondences between the workplace and trains, was doctored to eliminate a few explanations this endeavour at a cover-up raised doubt significantly further. It was at last resolved that security norms and conventions in the DO Metro framework needed an enormous upgrade train, 1080, ought to have never been told to continue to the station fire quenchers, ought to be on each train vehicle, and crisis lights, ought to be a standard aid for smoky circumstances, particularly when fire screens are being used as far as it matters for them. Both train administrators were pursued for carelessness and read jail sentences of four and five years. The genuine reason for this misfortune was a solitary disturbed man Kim Dignitary, who conveyed gas onto a metro vehicle and began the huge burst he had a background marked by mental disease and obviously escaped everyone's notice of the well-being administrations in Korea. He was given a lifelong incarceration for his activities the Deus Tram got a gigantic move up to further develop security and imperviousness to fire despite the fact that they rebuilt the whole station they kept up with some of the consumed designs and residue covered hardware as a remembrance to the individuals who lost their lives between the two tram trains and those caught in the stage region 192 individuals lost their lives north of 150 additional people were harmed by breathing in, exhaust and smoke. Or on the other hand, being singed straight by the fire, there were numerous mistakes in method assets and judgment that made a lamentable circumstance into an out-and-out -out calamity.